Welcome to Adco Aviation. On the 27th video, we discussed choosing the proper hardware in my prep to order all the needed hardware for my Legal Eagle XL. Nearly $200 later, I'm able to move forward on my build. Today, we'll start at the nose, my firewall. Pretty straightforward. I cut the aluminum sheet and marked all the bends. I used a straight edge to add extra clearance to simulate the windshield. I took it to the brake and made the bends. After the engine mount holes were drilled, I placed the firewall in place. One thing the plans did not call out was how to secure it to the frame. I didn't want the firewall to flop around, and in the spirit of keeping things simple, I chose to add an AN3 bolt with a spacer near each engine mount, like so. Next. I thought I'd start the discussion of rigging and the crimping of the ferrules. First and foremost, you need to decide on the type of cable you're going to use. I also recommend becoming very familiar with the FAA's Advisory Circular 43.13-1. You can buy a copy or download it free straight from the FAA. It will tell you almost anything that you need to know about building any aircraft. My kit came with three 32nd inch stainless steel cabling. Very important that you choose the correct crimp barrel for the cable you have. So I used 10 crimps. The Nyko Press swagging tool is currently nearly $350 from the aircraft spruce and I chose to use the $50 one from Lowe's. I know there are those out there that are strongly against the use of these off-brand tools and you need to make your own choice. So like I've said many times before, I'm not showing you what to do, I'm just showing you what I am doing. The first thing you'll notice is the jaw width on these cheaper crimpers are wider. You can't get three crimps on a 332nd barrel. The next thing you'll find out, these cheaper units do not come with a go, no go gauge. I researched the web and finally found on our Eagler's Nest forum, someone measured their gauges for us. So for me, I set my calibers at 0.251 inches, tighten the set screw, and I had my own go, no go gauge. So let's make a crimp or two. First, I took a heat shrink and slid it over the cable. We'll discuss this more in a minute. Then the ferrule. Made a loop with the cable, passed the end of the cable back through the ferrule, and added my thimble. Speaking of thimble, I slightly ground off the tips to get a nice tight loop. I've seen some use a temporary cable clamp to temporarily hold the cable while crimping. I just added tubing to a small needle nose vice grip pliers to softly clamp and hold the cable while I crimp the ferrule. As you slide the ferrule up to the thimble you'll want to leave maybe a sixteenth of an inch or so of play to allow for the ferrule to grow as we squeeze it. Speaking of the squeeze, on my size cable ferrule instead of the three crimps the entire ferrule was crimped in two places. I verify with my go no go gauge and remove my third hand, the tubing covered pliers. Next we got to clean up the waist or the tail. I clipped the tail with these nice cable clippers as close as I could, but I've seen where some will place a shield, a thin piece of 4140 steel between the cables in order to protect the, the main cable and use a Dremel to cut off the short tail. I then slid the heat shrink back over to clean the cut in. I always liked the way this looked. It looks finished and I won't poke myself while doing my pre-flights. But then I came across a video on the EAA website 
where they suggested that moisture could get trapped under the shrink wrap tubing and cause corrosion and that that might not be the best practice. So for the rest of my crimps, I decided to just wrap the tailpiece with the heat shrink and cut with my clippers as short as possible, like so. Once again, I'm moving at a snail's pace on my build. As you can see, I still have a bunch of stuff in my way. I just bought the paints for my fabric areas and are currently testing the waters there. Hopefully my next video might be on the painting process I chose. And once the tail is painted, I'll probably have a few more tips on the final rigging of the folding tail. Whew, that sounds good. I like the sound of final rigging. It gives me chills. Then off to painting and finishing the folding of my wings. As always, I hope you have enjoyed this video and hopefully found some of the info helpful for your build. And if you're on the fence about starting a legal legal build, hopefully I've shown you just how easy it can be. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe to my YouTube, Odyssey, or Rumble channel. Thank you and be safe.